Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. I'm someone who loves to try different dishes from various cuisine. As a result, I sometimes get bored with the typical everyday meals. Plus, I enjoy cooking. So I frequently find myself trying to recreate the meals that I once enjoyed at the restaurant. And doing this helps me to save a lot of money. As we all know that the homemade food are usually much cheaper than eating at restaurant. Therefore, in today's video, I am going to share my restaurant experience and how I recreated that in my kitchen. My husband and I always love to explore different foods to entice our taste buds. Also, food being our love language, we often explore different places to try different cuisine. And now, our son has also joined us and it is nice to see him trying different cuisine and learning about different cultures through food. And on one fine weekend, we decided to try Vietnamese food at this restaurant called Forbidden Fruit. First, I had this grape flavored kombucha drink which is a fermented tea. Next, we ordered garden spring rolls. This is something that I've always wanted to try and finally got to have. These Vietnamese spring rolls are fresh, not fried and it is fully packed with fresh vegetables and herbs and some rice noodles and shrimp. Next, we ordered shrimp pho. The very first thing I noticed was the nice earthy aroma that wafted from the bowl. This soup dish consisted of broth, rice noodles, herbs and meat of our choice. And it was served with spicy sriracha sauce and sweet fish sauce, some bean sprouts, onion slices and lemon bitch. The earthy taste of broth, crunchiness from the bean sprouts, sweet and spiciness from the fish sauce and sriracha sauce and the tanginess from the squeezed lemon all together added a layer of flavors to the soup. And the best part was we can adjust the flavors from savory to sweetness by adding the ingredients less or more as per our liking. Next we ordered ko which is a braised pork caramelized in coconut water and fish sauce. It was served with rice, some kimchi, fish sauce and cucumber slices. The whole bite when combined with little bit of everything bursted with flavors into my mouth. And my son loves anything that is made with coconut. So to satisfy his taste buds, we ordered this blue pea coconut pudding. Overall, I loved everything especially fresh spring roll and pho. But I felt all the dishes were a bit pricey although I believe these dishes are very easy to recreate for a much cheaper price. To make the fresh spring rolls, almost all the ingredients were readily available in the kitchen except for the two primary ingredients that are rice paper and rice noodles. And I bought it from Amazon for Rs 200 each. So for the brunch, I am going to make fresh spring rolls. The vegetables that I have taken for the spring rolls are carrot, cucumber, capsicum and green lettuce. First I start by thinly slicing and then cutting them into matchsticks. After washing the lettuce, I am sloshing them in the salad spinner. The salad spinner helps to remove the excess water and helps to maintain the crunchiness by not making the lettuce soggy. Today I am going to use the prawns for the spring rolls. If you are a vegetarian, you can swap this with the sautéed mushroom or tofu. After washing it thoroughly, I am going to boil it with salt for 20 minutes. Once done, it should curl and turn opaque. Next, I am soaking a handful of rice noodles in hot water for 25 minutes or as per the instruction given in the packet. Spring rolls are mostly served with this peanut butter sauce for dipping which is like an icing on the cake. To make this sauce, I am mixing all the above ingredients. The consistency shouldn't be too runny or too thick so I am adding water accordingly and whisking it well. Next, I am cutting the boiled prawns into half along the length. And now comes the most exciting part that is wrapping all the ingredients with the rice paper. 
First, I've taken warm water in this plate. Then I'm being quick and gentle at the same time with the rice paper by dipping them in this warm water on both sides for 10 seconds. Then I'm placing it on this wooden board and assembling all the veggies starting from the lettuce, then carrot, cucumber, mint leaves and noodles. Finally, I'm placing the prawn and doing the burrito style wrapping. Just look how cute this roll looks. This is how the cross section looks like. And I think it is very very easy to make and can be easily recreated by anyone. For the dinner I am going to make mushroom pho and mushroom spring rolls. First I start by slicing the mushrooms. Then I'm sauteing it in a pan with a spoon of oil with some pepper and salt to taste. In the meanwhile, I'm keeping the other ingredients ready. For the broth, I'm taking 1 chilli, 5 cloves of garlic, half inch ginger, half a bunch of spring onions. And I'm finely chopping them. After transferring the mushrooms to a bowl, I am adding the chopped ingredients to the same pan and sauteing it. Parallelly, I am soaking a handful of noodles in hot water for 25 minutes. Then to the well sauteed mixture, I am adding 1 cup of water and adding the above spices. Then I am closing and letting it simmer for 20 minutes. This time I'm making the spring rolls with rice instead of noodles and mushrooms instead of prawns. One thing to keep in mind while rolling is to make sure that all the ingredients are held tightly together as you roll everything up. For the second dip, I am mixing soya sauce, chilli oil and some sesame seeds together. Then for serving the pho, first I am straining the broth, then I am adding a portion of noodles to it. Then I am topping it with some leftover julienne carrots, chopped spring onions, mung bean sprouts and sauteed mushrooms. For the spiciness, I am adding some pickled jalapeno peppers and drizzling some chilli oil and finally garnishing it with some mint leaves. Such simple dishes with simple ingredients but look super fancy and on top of everything it is homemade with lots and lots of love. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and I would like to hear your thoughts so feel free to leave a comment. See you all again with another video until then bye take care.